Morning. Good morning, Tony. How are you today? Sorry, I'm a bit late. That's okay. I had a bit of a late night last night. Did you? Yeah. Well, I hope you're fit enough for this morning. You're not too tired. No, no. Okay, no, it's okay. No. Didn't Good. do any drinking. Good, excellent. So what would have been the effects if you had been drinking? Uh, I would have cancelled my lesson. Good, well done. And you'd, have, and you'd have charged me for it, wouldn't you? And why would you have had to cancel it? Sorry? And why would you have had to cancel it? Because there might be still alcohol in my system, wouldn't there? There might still be alcohol in your yeah. system, exactly. So, good, well done. But I didn't drink it. I was drinking you ginger ale all night. Well, aren't you good? Yeah, I am, yeah. Fantastic. So, um, how, can you remember what we did in the lesson last week? We did a reverse around the corner, didn't we? We did a reverse around the yeah. corner. And how do you think you got on with your reverse around the corner? Can in you the end it was quite good, wasn't it? You did quite yeah. well at the end. Yeah. So you scaled it. Do you remember what you scaled it? Um, I think I scaled it at eight, didn't I? Um, yeah. So what do you think you needed to get it up to a ten? I, I think with more practice I'll get better, wouldn't I? Okay, yeah, you will get better. So today, can you remember what we said we would try today? Um three-point turn but you said it's not called a three-point turn is it? No, what's it called? Um, Can you remember? I've been reading about it. Turn in the road. So why is it called a turn in the road and not a three-point turn? Because if it was a narrow road or we have a big car I could do it in five or seven come up. Yes, you don't have to be restricted to doing yeah. three do you? Yeah. So it won't go against you if you're doing more turns. Yeah. So can you think of a way in which the turn in the road will relate to what we did last week with the reverse round the corner? I suppose I still have to work the pedals the same, wouldn't I? Still got to work the pedals. What yeah. else? Um, I'd have to do lots of looking, wouldn't I? Lots and lots of observations? Yes, yeah. Okay. So why are the observations so important when you're doing the manoeuvre like the turning the road? Because uh, the vehicles going past and pedestrians and so forth. And pedestrians? Yeah. So particularly, what, what's one of the manoeuvres you're doing with the turning the road that's the same as the reverse round the corner? Sorry? So when you reverse around a corner, what's one of the manoeuvres in the turn in the road that's the same? I don't understand. As in the reversing. So when you do the turn in the road, you've oh, got you're to reverse backwards. as well, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. You've got to go backwards. Yeah. yeah. So what particular, so all your observations are important, but what's the one that you must make sure you check as well when you're reversing? No, you said effective observation. Effective observation, yeah. good. Yeah. So what about the speed? How fast should you do the turn in the road? But same as reverse around the corner. And what was that? Old man's walking pace. Good, old man's walking pace. Yeah. So there's another thing to remember about the, the turn in the road. Yeah. So I want you to look at the road. What do you notice about the surface of the road? Yeah, we're not going to do it here, by the way. So we're not going to do it here? Yeah. Okay. All right, then. So, but that still applies to nearly all roads here, doesn't it? Yeah. So what do you notice about the surface of the road? As mm -hmm. in, is it totally flat? No, yeah, kind of. It curves. What's yeah. that going to mean to your car when you're turning it? Um, I think it might go a bit quicker when I get across the uh, middle. I think I, I read it's called a camber, isn't it? The camber, yes. For drainage. It's for drainage, good. So as you go across the camber, you're then pointing downhill, aren't you? So yeah. potentially the car can go quicker. So what are you going to be able to do to control your speed then? Um, do what I've done on that downhill reverse last week and use gravity with so I can use the foot brake. Good, exactly. So you can use a foot brake to control yeah. your speed. Yeah. So what are the three elements that you need to have yeah. then? So can you remember the three elements we use um, when you're driving? Control. Um, observations. Yeah. And um, reasonable accuracy. Reasonable? Yeah. Okay. Why reasonable? Because you can do it more times? Is that what you're thinking? No, you said last week on reverse around the corner, it didn't have to be inch perfect. No. So it's got to be relatively good yeah. accuracy though, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So what have you got to avoid to do in the, in the turn in the road? I don't know, I'm done one, yeah. So when you go across the road and you've got the camber and it's just taking you down slightly hill, what are you pointing towards on the edge of the road? What's along, all the way along the edge of the road? Pavement. Pavement and the kerb. Yeah. So you've got to aim to do your manoeuvre and you're not to touch the kerb. Yeah, that's, um... Is yeah, that right? I'm going to need a bit of help with that, I think. So that's okay. So we need a bit of help with it. So as you do the, as you do the turn forwards, we've got to try and judge it so that you get forward enough to use the width of the road, but without touching the kerb. Oh. And the same when you reverse back. So yeah. as you reverse back, you've got to try and do the same. Yeah. 
and then that will give you the position to oh. turn around and come out the turn. Yeah. Okay? Okay, good. So can you remember, um, who's in charge of the, everything in the car, Tony? In charge? Who's responsible for everything oh, in the I car? Oh, I am, yeah. And yeah. what about everything outside of the car? Yeah, I am. You are. So how much help do you want from me today? On, so, on the turn in the road? So on the turn in the road. I think I might need a bit of help with knowing when to stop okay. when I go forward and when to stop when I go back. Okay, that's fine. So I can use the driveways, can I? No. Oh, I thought you could. So why can't you use the driveways? Oh, I thought you could. What made you think you could use the driveways? Well, the car's driving, so I don't know. Well, the drive's driving into them, but they're private property, aren't they? They're, they're their own roads. So um, the aim is that you only do the turn in the road within the road surface area. You mean I treat the driveway as a continuous curb, do you I? You treat it completely as a t continuous oh. curb, okay? Yeah. So, so I'll help you then with either side. Yeah. And then if I feel that you're not responding to a situation, um, obviously I'll either help you with the steering wheel, ask you to stop, or if necessary have to use the brake pedal. So, so what responsibility uh, shall I take then? So, well you said you wanted to take the responsibility for doing the manoeuvre, but you just wanted help at either side, didn't you, with knowing where the curve is? Oh, right. right. Okay. Yeah. So if I needed to have a situation, say, of using the pedals to stop you, or ask you to stop, what kind of situation would that be in this manoeuvre? What might bring that situation? I'm going to hit something. One, if you're going to hit something, and two, if you haven't been doing your observations, isn't it? So if you haven't looked and checked to see there's something not coming behind you or forwards and you continue your manoeuvre, what could potentially happen then? Mm. Well, last week on some of them I didn't uh, do the uh, observations properly. Mm -hmm. But you let me carry on, and you said you let me carry on because there was no danger. Yep. And then you talked me through it afterwards. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So... Would you like me to help you with the observations then today? Or would you like to try and do those on your own? No, I think I could do them on my own. Okay. Yeah. All right then. Yeah? Yep. Shall I get ready? So when you're ready, oh. set yourself up. Yep. I drive on. So why did I ask you to stop there? Oh, blind spot, sorry. Blind spot. Okay, good. That's important, isn't it? Why is it important, Tony? Because that mirror doesn't cover everything, does it? Now, what does it miss out? Can you, can you, can you tell what it misses out? The area of my right shoulder. The area over your right shoulder. Yeah. So it's really important to check your blind spots. Yeah. Now drive on there. If you, now, because we've had a break, what do you have to do? Oh, yeah, check it again. Good.
Why does it need to be the middle and the right? Well, sorry, I was, I was trying to answer okay. your question. That's okay. Sorry about that, Tony. Okay. I've got a sore neck now. You always hit the brake really hard like that. I do if you're going to pull out in front of another vehicle. Right. And if you're going to pull out in another front of another vehicle, yes. Even I don't brake that hard, do I? <laughs> <laughs> no, but this pedal's well reactive. <laughs> Multitask there, sorry. No, that's fine. I'll ask you in a minute. That will be the turn left. So we're going to turn left. So which two should you check, Tony? Mid left right. So, when we come round here, I just want you to pull over and stop on the left. Okay. So mirrors, observations, Tony. When we're turning right, what, way, what mirrors should we use? Right in the middle. So which way round should they be used? Uh, it doesn't matter. Why do you think it doesn't matter? <clears throat> oh yes it does, yeah. It, true picture. It does mirror. So, so what's the difference between the central mirror and your door mirror then? True picture. True picture. So, so why do you need to check the true picture first? How does that kind of help you? So I know I had the distance and speed of the vehicle behind. The distance and speed of the vehicle behind. Yeah. So also, well, so how is that going to help you as well when you need to turn? So if you want to turn right and the turn is coming up, what's looking in that mirror doing to help you? There's the distance and speed, but what's that going to potentially help you do? Decide on when to signal. So if the vehicle was too close to you behind yeah. and you've got to turn right, how is looking in this mirror going to help you? I'll signal earlier. So you signal earlier or you brake earlier to slow down. So if you signal earlier, supposing there was another turning just when you signal earlier, what's that going to do to the driver behind? Yeah, I so. so you could confuse the driver from behind, couldn't you? So if you use your central mirror, what that means you can do is if you've got a driver too close to you, you can slow down earlier. What's that forcing the car to do behind you? So forcing the body doing Not forcing to, but what's that encouraging the car behind you to do? Yeah, he knows I'm slowing down. He knows you're slowing down. Yeah. So then you've checked your central mirror, you might have to slow down earlier. Yeah. And then what's the purpose of checking the right door mirror um, if you want to turn that's right? That's for uh, anybody overtaking you. Anybody overtaking you. So what about if you want to turn left, what mirror should you use then? Oh, middle and left. Middle and left. So Bob, which one? Bob. Bob. <laughs> so Bob, Bob might be coming down on the inside. Yeah. Okay, yeah. exactly. So. So what do you got to remember? So do you remember we did a count? What count? What numbers did we use to help remember uh, one, the mirrors? One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. So central mirror, right mirror, indicate right. Yeah. Central mirror, left mirror, indicate left. Yeah. When we've turned left, what do we do with our mirrors then? Or we've turned right. New what road, do we do? new mirrors. New road, new mirrors. Okay. Yeah. So is that all right? Yeah. So I want you to think about that when we're going along now. Good. Well done. Good. Okay. So what was the purpose of the indicator then, Tony? Well, he might want to uh, turn in one of these drives, wouldn't he? So you're making him aware of what you're doing, aren't you? Take the next on the right, just past the white car. I want you to take the next turn on the right, just past that white car. Just come out of roll uh, for being being your pupil a minute, mm -hmm. yeah. You've just seen a couple of mistakes on the mirrors. Yeah. And to be honest with you, the first one you didn't see at all, yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. You weren't looking at me. Yeah. Yeah. Stop on the left. Can you stop on the left, please, Tony? If you've just seen an error, should you not have come back and just said to me on approach that last turning and just remind me what mirrors you're going to check, rather than wait for you to not do it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm waiting for you to make the mistake and then yeah. reminding you. Okay. Right, so this is going to be a super road. Do the okay. turning road. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to do the turn in the road. All right. Okay, so are we going to do it exactly here? 
Yeah. Just here, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to do the turning the road turning. Yeah. So what have you got to remember about the turning the road? So we were discussing it at the start of the lesson. You're going to help me with where to stop when I go over there and when I get back. Okay. And what's this here, potentially here? Okay. What's this bit here? This bit of pavement here that's drop curve, what's that classify as? Is it the curb or is it? It's the pavement, isn't it? So yeah. it counts as the curb line, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. So you're not allowed to go up that, are yeah. you? No. Okay. So, do you want to have a go? Yeah, she's like crack So we said we were just going to help with the curb and you're going to try and do your observations. Just going to help with the curb. So it was just the stopping, wasn't it? Oh. The other distances. Yes. Okay. So stop there. <laughs> okay, you stopped. So what's the speed that you've got to aim to do when you're coming around there, Tony? Speed? Yeah, when you're doing your turn in the road. I was looking at the speed, speed. I was looking at the pavement. You look at the pavement. So what speed did we say we need it to be? On this road. And what does that enable you to do? The old man at walking's pace. Oh, it's gone fast, wasn't it? It was faster than an old man walking. I couldn't walk that fast if I was an old man with a broken leg. So I think they're going to be on crutches. So you should be really crawling around. What does that help you do? If you've got control of your speed, what does that help you do with, this, with your steering? It, it makes you, well, another thing, but it makes you more accurate with your steering as well, doesn't it? Yes. So you can take your time. And also your observations. Okay, so mm -hmm. what have you got to be checking all the time as we do well, the maneuver? Do the observations. It's got to be continuous from one side of the road to the other. Well, I thought I looked really well there. Okay, okay, fine. All right then. So now I've stopped. So you've stopped. So how far forward do you think you are from the curb? I haven't got a So if you look at your door mirror in line with the curb there. So do you think you've got a, another is, foot or two? My door mirror is not in line with the curb. Your door mirror is not in line with the curb, no. So as I want you to I want you to creep forward, crawl forward, so you're using your brakes, no, two miles an hour. Slow down. Mm. Slow down. I always told you not to give reference points. Let your pupils pick their own, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? So where does the car, where does the curb appear to cut into the car? Now come on, That's think it. about it, yeah? So where does the curb appear to cut into the car, Tony? Just ahead of that door mirror. Just ahead of that door mirror. Okay, so do you think that you could potentially have any more space to move forward? Well, why did you stop me here? So because I want you to, stick, am I not doing the turn in the wheel? Because I'm going to do the turn in the wheel. I want you to creep forward and turn the wheel back the other way. Can I not do that? Yeah, I'm wondering why you stopped me here. Well, I stopped you here for the first reference. So this is your first reference. So what I want you to then do is I want you to creep forward another this much. So if I use my hands like you had that little when thing. When you gave me reference points last week, you mm. told me what they were for. Okay. So what's that reference point for? I haven't got a clue. <laughs> so that's to tell you that you're coming to the last foot drain width from the curb, aren't you? Everything is drain width from the curb. So how big is a drain width from the curb? You're losing me. I'm losing me here, yeah. let alone losing you. So I would like, what I want you to do is to creep forward six inches from that reference six point. Inches. That much from that reference point. No, this. I want you to go forward from that reference point and go with another well, Why did I stop at this first one? Because you now know to turn the steering wheel back the other way. That's the reference point I want you to use to now turn the steering wheel back the other way. Oh. And creep forward as you do so. That's dry steering, isn't it? So is it dry a good steering? Yeah, is it a good idea to turn a steering wheel when you're not moving? I think so, yeah. So what can that do to the car, potentially? I can't, I can't remember. So if you're not moving, Tony, and you turn the steering wheel, that potentially can damage your tyres. So you're going to damage the surface of your tyres much... Oh, the tyres are only about 40 pounds. Well, that doesn't matter if you're going to have all four of them getting ruined or two of them that are turning. So what about the steering rack? It can have an effect on your steering rack as well. That's a much more expensive thing. So I should only, only turn it while I'm so moving? So you should only turn it when you're moving. So I want you to be crawling. Two miles an hour, no more. Two miles an hour? Yeah, literally. You keep an eye on that speedo, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. So I want you to go forward. At it's two miles an hour? At two miles an hour. Or less. How do you inch forward? You know when we creep, peep and creep? I want you to creep forwards. 
and turn the steering wheel. That's it. So turn the steering wheel as you creep forward. That's it. So now we're going to turn back. Oh, yeah, do it. I'm going to the curb. So to go back the other way. You haven't hit the curb. We're ready to go back the other way now. So what do you have to do now? Keep going. No, we're going to stop on you. You haven't hit the curb. Look at my wrong. Yeah. I can't do it with you. Eh? Hey? Go on. I can't do this. You can't do this. I'm doing it all wrong with you. You got the first reference point, yeah? Yeah. And then you said go forward. Six inches. That much. Oh, so you're going to expect me to be able to judge six inches? No, I just want you to creep till you've turned the steering wheel back the other way and just creep really slow. When the steering wheel's turned How back are you going to help me to judge? When I need to stop. I don't know, this is the reference point on the door again, isn't it? Well, you're going to tell me to stop, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, and just... And then how can you help me? Then I'll tell you what to do with your hands and hand back no. on into reverse. No. no. What do I do? Look at the reference point where the curb cuts into your car again mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Okay. I'm with you now. I've stopped. You've stopped. So now we've got to go back the other way. I've stopped. So you stopped. So I want you to look at the difference now from the last point we stopped to this point. So where does the curb cut into the car now? It looks like the door mirror is on the curb. So that's your reference point to know that you haven't touched the curb. So first of all, the curb was just in front of the door mirror, wasn't it? Yeah, there's no harm touching the curb, but is it? There is, because it fails. So your manoeuvre will fail in the test if you touch the curb. And what, are the, what else is the dangers of touching the curb? I'm not too sure. So, have a think about it. See what you can come up with. Probably squeeze the tyres a bit. It's going to squeeze the tyres a bit. If you do it at speed, you can puncture your tyres, can't you? I'm not doing it at speed, am I? You're not doing it at speed, but supposing you did come down it at a fraction too, but you weren't crawling, because sometimes you're not crawling. So you're going to puncture your tyre, preferably, bruise the wall and damage your tyres, and your tyres, or you could just mount up the curb. What if there was a pedestrian walking along? Oh, right. I don't hear a pedestrian, do I? You don't want to hit a pedestrian, do you? So tyres are more important first than pedestrians? No, pedestrians are more oh, important right. first. Okay? It's just because you said about you don't want to damage your tyres, so I followed the sentence. So if you go too far over and you hit the curb, you could potentially have someone walking along, and the front of your car is going to catch them as they're walking past. Okay? Just that, Robin. Is it a good idea to be mentioning you're going to fail your test, yeah? I didn't say failure test, yeah, the manoeuvre with the curb. That's that's what it's all, you know, that's not what it's all about, is it? No. It's safe driving for life, isn't it? Okay. Yeah? Yep. Yeah, if I, if I mount that curb, or even overhang that curb, those pedestrians in front of us are in danger, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. The right. Okay. Yeah? Yep. But I need help how to judge... The distances. Yeah. So I've got to go back now. You've got to go back now. Back. I can't go any further forward, can I? <laughs> no! <laughs> You've got to go back now. So, what have you got to do before you move, Tony? My what P.O.M. Your P.O.M., good. My O. Look everywhere, innit? Uh-huh. That's it, good. Now, think of that walking pace. You've got a pair of crutches. I am walking now. I know. So I keep looking over the shoulder? No, you keep looking over all of your shoulders. Oh. All the way around the car. Constant observation. And what about the other leg? I want it to curve, so I want you to stop there. Oh, no, shit. I've stopped. What have we done? <laughs> hey? We've hit the curve. I haven't hit the curve. I've stopped. Okay. So we'll look at the reference point in your door mirrors to where you Sorry? stopped. So why don't you look at the re in your door mirrors, where's the reference point for the curb cutting in the back of the car now? In the door mirrors? Oh, look in there. Are you asking me where does the curb uh, appear to cut into the car? Yes. See that no smoker sticker? Yeah. It appears to be about there. Okay. And can you see anything in the door mirror as well to help you if you look down at the bottom of the wheels? Can you see the curb at all? No. No. So that's your reference point, isn't it? Yeah. So then now we need to think about doing what? I don't know. So you now know that you've got all this far enough back without without hitting the curb. So that's that's your reference point in future. When you reverse back, you know you won't hit the curb if you've got the curb cuts into where the no smoking sign is. And so then you're ready to go back off the other way. So when you drive 
from there over to there, we, d we take steering off. We don't take steering off on the way back. We are going to do it, but I was wondering if I do it with you now, that it's going to overcomplicate things. <laughs> so, I want you to creep back and turn the steering wheel creep. back. Creep. Creep. I'll peep and creep. You know how I creep? Oh, yeah. So I want you to move, so I don't want you to turn that steering wheel when you're stationary. I want you to creep and turn the steering wheel back the other way. After looking in. So you have to do it. Yes, we have to do it everywhere. Mm-hmm. We have. And that's enough and you can stop there. That's enough? Yeah. I think so because I can't see anything. I've stopped. So there's your stop, there's your next reference point. So where does the curb cut into the car now? the corner of that uh, window there. So there you know is your second reference point. So your first reference point was where? By the nose speaker. Stick. By the nose speaker and then you reverse back literally this much and then now the curb cuts into the corner of your window doesn't it? Yeah. So now you're in a position ready to turn to go forwards and out from the turn in the road. Is that reference point important? Yes because you know now that you won't touch the curb. So you've gone back far enough to point out to, to come out of the manoeuvre and you haven't touched the kerb. It's not going to touch the kerb, is it? No. So it didn't touch the kerb, did it? No, it's not good, is it? So, no. I don't get what you're asking me to do here. Yeah, it's not going to touch the kerb, is it? So why, is, why can you not touch the kerb? What's the reason for not touching the kerb, Tony? Because I'll squash your tyres and you don't like that. So it's not, that's not the most important reason, is it? What's the most important reason for not touching the kerb? Oh, pedestrians. Pedestrians. Yeah. So you're protecting the pedestrians on the pavement, aren't you, by not raising the curb? And then afterwards, obviously, you're also protecting your tyres. Okay? So then what would you do now to come out of the manoeuvre? Pom. Pom. So which way are you going to look? And what about this way? Stop. What about this way, Tony? Off. Okay. Stop. So you can pull over, yes. Okay. I didn't find it as hard to teach that this morning. Why did okay. I find that so hard? What used to be painted on that airbag there? I don't know. Why? Why? Yeah. Why? So why are you doing things? Yeah, I've got to ask you why you're doing things. Yeah, we're out now. Mm-hmm. Come on, you're a teacher move students now. What are they going to learn just being um, uh, told to stop here? Where does the curb appear to cut into the car? Okay. And no reason why. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. The good bit was, I was talking to Ian on Friday, and he was telling me that on a driving test, one of the most common failures on a turn in the road is on the last bit where the candidate begins to look down to the left. And I made you look. Sorry? Okay. When they come forward again to come out. Yeah, so now that we've stopped and go back in the road. Right. What are you gonna say about that? So so how do you feel that went, Tony? Yeah, a little bit confusing. A little bit, it was a little bit confusing, but I think I probably made it a little bit confusing, didn't I, as well? It didn't help matters, because yeah. I was confusing you. So, when you're doing the turn in the road, do you remember how when we did the reversing around the corner, you had a reference point, didn't you, to when to turn? I did, yeah. So, did it help having the reference points for that? Yeah, when I eventually realised what you were, um, so what <laughs> reference points you were So, when I was pointing at. So, your reference points, so you've got the first, so you come forward, and then you've got your first reference point to change the steering so that you could be ready to turn back. Yeah. And then when you came back, you had your first reference point, which was the first reference point when I, you reversed. I thought I had two reference points on the way forward. You did have two reference points. That was what I just said, didn't I? So you had your first reference point, and you stopped, and then we changed the steering, didn't you? Turned the steering wheel back as you crept forward, and you had the next reference point. Yeah. And then when you reversed back, where was your first reference point? I was trying to think what the next reference point was for, the second one. Where, can you remember where it was? Don't squash the curb, uh, the tires. No, that's not your reference point, is it? What's the importance of... Oh, don't overhang the curb, because there was a, a man and a woman walking don't past. Don't overhang the curb, yeah. yes. Yeah. So, okay, so that's the main reason for not doing oh, anything right. to do with the curb. Yeah. Okay, it's the pedestrians yeah. that you're protecting. 
so it could be even more than pedestrians you have you could have a cyclist come up and they're a bit close to you if you're over and hanging the curb you're going to catch them they shouldn't be on the pavement but they might be yeah. you can have a little tired on the scooter yeah. all those things so what about the reversing back can you remember the reference points when we reverse back yeah, no smoking sticker yeah and the corner of that window and the good and how did that help you so i know when to stop so you know when to stop and then we come back out of the space and we've turned around and we're coming out again. What's yeah. the most important thing when you're coming back round to, to do? Control. Control. What else? Yeah. When you get your car prepared, yep. then you do your, uh, your observations. Your observations. There's then one, you move. That's right, but there was one observation that I stopped you for that's the most important one of all. Which one was that? I looked to the right. So you looked to the right, which was excellent. It's the left. So as you turn out, you're coming across the road again, aren't you? What's why is it important to look to the left? There wasn't anybody there, though, was there? It doesn't matter whether there was anyone there, so should you check? Sorry? So what's the reason for checking that, whether there was anyone there or not? So I, if would, I wouldn't know if there's nobody there or not, would I? Exactly, you wouldn't know, would you? So no. there might not have been anyone there, but next time there might be someone there, mightn't there? So it's really important to check before you pull away. Yeah. Okay? So should we, would you like to try that again? I would, yeah. And then try, how, how much help would you like from me this time? I'll try me on. Good, okay. All right? Yeah, I'll try me on. Good. Okay, so we'll give that a go then. Yeah, I'll try me on. So you're trying your own? Yeah. So um, if for any, for example, so you're going to try on your own. Yeah. So we'll do that. But if anything happens that I feel that you're not responding to the situation, I will ask you to stop. You mean not responding? If a car's coming and you haven't noticed them, you haven't observed them, or you try and reverse back out in front of the line of a car and you haven't noticed them. Oh, you mean if I put people in danger? If you put people in danger. Or us in danger. If you put anybody else outside the car or us inside the car in danger, then I will ask you to stop or I will press the medals. Is that okay? And then we will discuss it afterwards as to why yeah. we did that. Okay. First reference point. Go to me second reference point. Stand. Get ready. What's that? Nothing. Should I wave him on? No. First reference point. No smoking. Mind you, I might take up smoking again after this. <laughs> I might start. <laughs> Are you sure I shouldn't wave him on? I'm positive you shouldn't wave him on. We'll discuss that in a minute. I'll tell you where you're We'll do the manoeuvre and then we'll discuss that. I'll take my second reference point. You did look that time, that was excellent. Very good observations and well done. Excellent Tony, well done, very good. So just the last little thing, the, so the manoeuvre went really well didn't it? Yeah. Great observations, well done and you checked over your left shoulder. I did. You asked me a question, should I wave him on? Yeah. And I said no, why do you think I said no? I just want to take the pressure off him so I get rid of him. You did want to take the pressure off him because you feel that you're holding them up. Yeah. But what could potentially be the danger of you do, you waving him on? He'd get home earlier, wouldn't he? <laughs> he might get home earlier. But why is it dangerous to wave someone on when you're doing a manoeuvre like that? I suppose you should let them make their own decisions. They've got to make their own decisions, haven't they? It's been like waving somebody out. A junction yeah. exactly so if you wave them for but then you decided at the last second to carry on your maneuver because they've hesitated what could potentially happen sorry supposing you wave them forward yep but then they hesitate they don't come and you decide oh, okay i'll get on with my maneuver what could potentially happen then oh they might go then they might go then you and they confused. might crush you you're going to confuse them aren't they yeah. so they might go you might go and what potentially could that be a collision couldn't it 
Okay. So never wave anyone on. Let them make the decision for themselves. Yeah. So what's the important thing to do when you've got a vehicle either side when you're doing a manoeuvre for you to do? Just keep looking. Keep looking and stop. Let them make the decision. When you've realised they're stationary, what does that mean you can then do? Carry on. Carry on with your manoeuvre. Well done. Good. Yeah, that one felt better. That one felt much better. So yeah. how do you think you'd rate that? Um, 6.9. 6.9? Yeah. Okay. So what's it got to do to become a 10 in your eyes? Practice. Practice. Good. Excellent. Right. Just come out of roll as your pupil a minute. Yeah. Practice what you bloody pe uh, preach, yeah? Mm-hmm. Remind me what, uh, what POM means? Prepare, observe, move. Right. What does that mean? Prepare your vehicle with your feet yeah. and the gears. Yeah. Do your observations, and when you've done all your observations... So, you is move. it important that you as my instructor follow POM as well or is it only me that follows uh, no, POM? No, I do it as well. So I do, I do so, the observations. After you've done so your So you want to put your hand up and say, I, I didn't quite do POM there, did I Tony? No, I didn't quite do observations, I was letting you do them. No, no, no. put your hand up yeah. and say to yourself, did I, did I look around in that BMW when I was reversed back before I had the car ready? It's when I went like that, because wasn't it? Because don't forget, it's on video, you better watch it back later on. Yeah, it's, it's, I went <laughs> like that, didn't I? And you said, what did I go like that for? Yeah, but I could see out of the corner of my eye, Yeah. you were looking at the BMW before I was ready. And I'm not allowed to look at them, am I? I mustn't catch their eye well, at all. Well, you know, it's not a matter what you're allowed. What, are it, what confusion does it cause? If I look at them. Don't forget. Yes, as the driver of the vehicle, I am responsible for everybody inside this car and every other road user. Yeah. Yeah? But it's not much point if you're putting me in bloody danger at the same time, is it? No. Yeah? What did you do before I was ready? I looked. Yeah. At, at which potentially might Why be Why did the, you? I just happened to look round as I'm doing observations. So Where I should you be looking? At you. Yeah. Okay. Because what could I do wrong if you're not watching me? You could just reverse back straight onto them. I might have even got the wrong gear, wouldn't I? Yeah. Instead of getting first gear, I might have got reverse gear. I actually thought you got yeah. the wrong gear. Have you seen that fence? <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't mind paying to uh, ask my insurance company to pay for that. Do you know why, do you know why I did that, that as well with the gear? Because my one, the gears, the reverse is over there, so I thought you'd put it into first and not reverse, and then I noticed reverse was up there. We've got an agreement. Stick to it, yeah? Yeah, okay. Yeah. How's that feel? Awful. What? The first one was dreadful teaching you to do the reference points and things and I think the, that reason the reason for that is I actually don't know the reference points myself because I just do it so I've got to know reference points myself for me personally in a car why do you to have to know help, reference points so that I can help them if they can't do it without reference points why are you giving them reference points in the first place why not just get them to stop in the right place and yeah. then just ask them where the curb um, appears to cut into the car that's what I meant. I'm not doing that, am what? I? Well, I don't know what you're doing at and listen, do I? Because I don't even... No, what I meant is I'm not doing that with you because I don't even know reference points for me because I've never used reference points for me. I've just done it. Yeah, but we have used reference points on your we uh, have. on your previous lessons. I'm good at the reversing around corner reference points. I've done them for those and I've done them for all the turns in the roads and things. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we were sitting there for ages getting... Um, we went forward on the first one. Mm-hmm. Before you got the point across um, <laughs> about why it's not a good idea to um, touch the curb or touch overhang the curb, the curb or even yeah. go up on the curb, yeah? Run yeah. about squeezing tires and <laughs> this, yes. that and the other, yeah? Yes. And then eventually we got around to the fact that <laughs> that I could kill a pedestrian, couldn't I? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Get your priorities right, okay. yeah? Okay, another way around. Yeah, yeah, forget this whole crap about mentioning you know, you'll fail on that, yeah? Yeah. I'm not interested in that. No. Yeah? Okay. All you could do is make your people feel more nervous, yeah? Okay, yep. Um what we're interested in is that we don't kill anybody. Yes. Yeah, the test is only a very, very small part of my um driving experience. Yeah. It it it's just one little little forty minute gap in some day of the next coming months, um, mm -hmm. when I can scrap to get a sixty two pound mm -hmm. that I'm gonna have to sit with somebody I haven't set before. Okay. And show them I can drive. That's a very small part of it. Okay. Yeah? Yes. 
yeah, don't don't be dragging the test in. If, you know, the, you know, if you do this, you fail. If you... That's not what it's all about. No. Yeah. It's about them becoming safe drivers. Yeah. Don't forget that thing about the reason why. Yeah. Yeah. Your pupils ain't gonna learn anything unless they know the reason why. Yeah. Yep. No good you telling me stop here. That's as far as you want to go. Yeah, I think if you if you'd have just dug in there, or even had something in the door pocket there, which I'm sure you've got a pen somewhere, mm -hmm. you could have said to me, "I want you to go forward about that distance." Yeah. That's what I was trying to do with my fingers. Yeah, but why not use something like that? Okay. Prepare yourself. Yeah. What is that anyway? It's a pen case, and and you know it's there. Okay. Because you've used it before. No, you've used it on me. No? <laughs> you've used it on me before. <laughs> you <Keep raising it. laughs> Not on video. Okay, please. have you used it as a driving tool before? <laughs> what do six inches mean? Well, to a woman, quite a bit. <laughs> Don't forget, this has gone out of your No, I know. Uh, well, that's why I, I, I didn't have... What do six inches mean to a pupil? Not a lot. Nothing. Nothing, okay. Nothing. Yeah, absolutely so, nothing. I was trying to do the visuals. Yeah. But use a visual. Yeah, you know what's down there. Okay. Yeah. You know, we'll always have something like that. It gives them something to gauge you by, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you know, same with... You know, you don't say slow down a bit, do you? No. Reduced to a walking You get them pace. in the Pacific. Okay. Bring your speed down to 15 mile an hour. Yep. I mean, at one stage, yeah, you were telling me you want me to be doing two mile an hour. I know, because I was trying to think, how am I going to phrase creep? Sorry? I was trying to think of how I could get you to realise how slow the creeping forward was. Well, how slow is the creeping forward going to be? Or creeping. should be? Creeping. Oh, man's walking pace. I know, but then they shoot across really fast. And you thought that that was an old man's walking place that I didn't think it was an old man's well, walking place. I mean, I haven't sat in on any of your lessons, but uh, <laughs> if you've been telling your pupils to do two mile an hour... I um, said two mile... I say five miles, four to five miles an hour approaching a turning to go into no, first gear to a On a, a manoeuvre. On a manoeuvre, yeah. No. Yeah. Um, I just say creep. I mean, I'm just looking at the speed, though, and... Uh, I say creep. Is that no helpful either? Sorry? I just say creep. Is that no helpful either? To give creep them, forward. Give them some help. If they, if you use things like old man's walking pace, they get used to it, wouldn't they? Yeah, I do. If you use things like jogging pace and walking pace and so forth. Mm-hmm. Any questions? Um. No, I think you've cleared, I think you've pointed it all out. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, I cut you out on the, uh, on the very first right hand turn after we you moved did. off. You did. And then after that I picked them up. Yeah, why did you miss the first one? I wasn't looking at you. When should you look at me? Straight away when I say take the next turning on the right. As you're saying it. As I'm saying Just it. Just before you start to say it. Okay. Yeah? Yep. Look at me, yeah? Yep. Yeah? Yep. Right. I'll just get those coming up first. Thank you. Probably gonna have to edit all the video anyway. <laughs> Probably. <laughs>